Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and welcome to another edition of Faith Issues. Today the Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast of the Archangels Michael, Gabriel and Raphael. Angels, messengers of God, grace the pages of religious texts across various traditions, illuminating the heavens with their very presence. But why do we have angels in the first place? Angels, we understand, embody the essence of spiritual guidance, serving as intermediaries between the divine and humanity, offering comfort, protection, and divine revelations. Among the celestial hierarchy, some angels stand out as archangels, revered for their exceptional roles and significance. Now, the term archangel translates to chief angel, indicating their elevated status in the heavenly hierarchy. These archangels, namely Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, bear unique responsibilities that shape the course of human history and spirituality. Now, Michael, the warrior archangel, epitomizes courage and protection. He is considered the leader of the heavenly army and the protector of the church. His name, which means who is like God, signifies his loyalty and obedience to God. He appears in the Bible as the defender of God's people battling against the forces of darkness. His unwavering strength and dedication symbolize the fight between good and evil inspiring us to confront challenges with bravery. The feast of St. Michael the Archangel commemorates his victory over Lucifer and his rebellious angels, symbolizing the triumph of good over evil. St. Michael is revered as a powerful intercessor against evil and a guardian against spiritual dangers. Now, Gabriel, the messenger archangel, embodies communication and revelation. He serves as God's herald, delivering important announcements and prophecies. We remember uh, that his presence marks pivotal uh, moments in religious texts, including the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, celebrated on the 25th of uh, of March, emphasizing the significance of divine guidance. We also see uh, Angel Gabriel announcing the birth of John the Baptist as well. Gabriel, whose name means the strength of God, E.K. Chuku, is celebrated on the 24th of March, a day before the Annunciation. So it's like Gabriel comes today and tomorrow we celebrate the Annunciation. Now, Raphael, whose name means God's remedy or God heals, when we uh, we or God heals. There's a popular uh, product called Aqua Rafa, meaning uh, healing water. So in Hebrew language, the adjective comes after the uh, the noun, just like in Igbo. If I should put it that way, uh, healing. So Rafa is healing. L is God. Rafa L. That is Raphael meaning God heal. So he is celebrated on the 24th of October. Raphael, the healing archangel, extends his uh, benevolent hands to those in need. His name signifies his role in restoring physical, emotional, spiritual, and psychological well-being. Raphael's appearances in the Bible underscores the importance of healing, offering solace to the afflicted and reminding us of the divine compassion that mends and heals our wounds. He appears in a special way in the book of Tobit in the Old Testament where he accompanies Tobias on a journey and brings healing to Tobit's blindness. It's a beautiful story. You should go and read the book of Tobit if you haven't read that. Very beautiful story. Feels like a movie. So Raphael is invoked for physical and spiritual healing. Now, these archangels find their presence woven throughout the sacred scriptures, illuminating various narratives with their divine interventions, their interactions with prophets, messengers, and ordinary individuals underscore the profound impact of their presence in shaping the spiritual tapestry of our beliefs. There are so many stories and sometimes in the Old Testament because they are representatives of God, bearers of God's message, their 
presence is regarded as the presence of God as well. The, the Catholic Church celebrates the Feast of Archangels, also known as the Feast of Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, to honor these prominent angelic beings and recognize their significant roles in the salvation history. This celebration also allows the Catholic faithful to honor these angelic beings, seek their intercession, and reflect on their roles as messengers and protectors in God's divine plan. It serves as a reminder of the existence of the spiritual realm and the ongoing battle between good and evil, emphasizing the importance of divine protection and guidance in the lives of believers. As we celebrate the Feast of the Archangels, let us reflect reflect on their enduring significance in our faith journeys, their unwavering dedication to humanity, their roles as messengers, warriors, healers, and their appearances in the sacred texts, which remind us of the intricate connection between the divine, eternal, and the mortal. Now, let us always remember that we are called to be angels of light. Often when someone does something sweet for us, we would be like, wow, you're such an angel. Thank you for being such an angel and stuff like that. So we are meant to be that, to help guide others, to bring joy, comfort, to bring peace in the lives of people. May the stories of these archangels inspire us to embrace courage, heed divine guidance, and seek healing, fostering a deeper understanding of our spirituality and the celestial forces that surround us. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time, stay blessed.